Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina Corbin. For those that do not know, today's video is my everyday pregnancy makeup routine and I'm using all pregnancy safe makeup products. So it's kind of a my everyday pregnancy safe makeup routine, natural look type of thing that I'm doing. <laughs> Just makeup that I do literally in five minutes and to get this look that I have on my face right now. It's nothing complicated, but I just wanted to share with you guys because I know there's a lot of makeup out there and a lot of natural products to try and pregnancy safe products to try, but it can be expensive to try them all. So I just wanted to kind of save you the time, save you the money and tell you what products I'm using and which products I like. Therefore, you can make the choice for yourself to have a safe makeup routine during your pregnancy as well because i know i was freaking out i was like oh my god I can't use any of the stuff that 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 i have oh my god am i you know gonna hurt my baby i was freaking out <laughs> but i did my research and i spoke to my doctor and this is my routine so let's jump into this first thing that i always do is put on obviously my face lotion and whatever i'm using and i will go over the skincare that i'm using during this pregnancy in a, in another video but the foundation that i'm going to be using today is this Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation and I've honestly been loving it. This stuff smells so good and it feels really good on your skin. And it's infused with peach and sweet fig cream. It is oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil-controlling, photo-friendly. This stuff I love because it's buildable coverage and it really is buildable coverage. I already put it on my face because I didn't want my fingers dirty during this video. I do put on my foundation with my fingers lately. I just make sure my hands are clean and then I rub it on just like a face lotion. And you really can build it up to however much coverage you want. I didn't put that much on because this is just, you know, an everyday type of look that we are doing here. <laughs> so I didn't want to go too crazy, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's already on and in terms of pregnancy safety, this does have a couple ingredients that aren't necessarily all natural and whatnot, but it is on the friendlier end. And I did speak to my doctor about it. I brought like all my products to my doctor and said, can I use it? Because I was being a crazy freak. And she said, it's okay. She doesn't see anything wrong with it. Um, I also use deodorant with some of the same products that are in here throughout my entire pregnancy. So it is fine. So just make sure you choose items that are gentler or more natural in terms of makeup. I like to go with something kind of natural, easy, quick. I like I don't like spending too much time in front of the mirror doing my makeup. So I like to move really fast. So the next thing I do is put on my powder and the powder I have been loving. This is natural and it's the Mineral Fusion. I actually ended up getting two of them in Olive 2 and Warm. Three. those are the colors that I got and honestly I think I'm gonna keep using these powders after my pregnancy because they are so awesome they have great coverage they feel good they're light they're not cakey and it's just I like pressed powder I don't know if I'm a loose powder type of girl I feel like every time I try it doesn't work out too well for me so these have been freaking awesome oh and the color I use in this foundation is warm nude I got two shades in these just because one's a little darker, one's a little lighter, depending on how I'm feeling, but honestly, they're almost kind of the same. So I'm just gonna go with the olive two today. And I just literally put it all over my face. Sometimes I don't even put on foundation if I'm going even lighter or more in a rush or if I'm going to the gym or whatnot, I will just put this powder on if I feel like my face looks like red and blotchy or something. I have not switched up my mascara. I'm still using the same mascara that I've been using forever. It is my favorite mascara. It's the Lancome Hypnos Drama. It is my ultimate favorite mascara ever on the planet. Like nothing compares to how it makes my eyelashes look, in my opinion. I know there's plenty of other great ones out there, of course, and everyone has their preferences, but for some reason, this has just been my go-to for freaking ever. So I have not switched that up. I'm using the same mascara.
Another thing I have not switched up is my eyebrow routine. I always use an eyeshadow on my eyebrow or a powdered brow kit. And I've been using this Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette for a while. And I'm one of those people that likes to use it until it's completely done if I love something. So I've just been using this forever. I honestly don't even know if they sell this anymore. But I, it's what I'm using on my eyebrows. As you can see, this baby is, you know, starting to run low. But I just color in my eyebrows. I don't, I don't feel like I have the right eyebrows for the, for that look that all these girls do. Like that crazy straight, straight edge, perfect etched in eyebrow. I feel like mine are more on the bohemian side, if you were to make a comparison. Eyebrows colored in, check and check. Super done, super easy. Another natural product that I have been obsessed with is this Well People palette. And it is the High Vibration Trio Radiance Boosting Vibrating Powders. And it comes with a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. And honestly, all of them are awesome. I have used them all. Um, today, I think I'm only using, gonna use the blush because this is just my everyday go-to look. If I were gonna be going out at night or whatnot, I would probably get in on the bronzer and highlighter and do some contouring. But yeah, guys, this is a natural product. It's totally pregnancy safe and it is freaking awesome. It goes on nicely, it stays on nicely. And honestly, I think I will probably continue using it after pregnancy. I got this at Target, so if you want one, pick one up at your nearest Target. And then I'm gonna put on a little bit of liner. I always like to put on liner. It's like my go-to thing. If I'm not gonna put on any eyeshadow, I will which I barely ever do. I basically always put on eyeliner and during the day I like to use a brown eyeliner. So this is just a Sephora waterproof colorful wink it felt liner and it is in the color brown. When I'm putting on eyeliner during the day for an everyday look, I will just put it on in the corner. I won't do a full eye type of line. There we go guys, I have my eyeliner on. It is complete. And then to top off this everyday pregnancy look, all I do is put on lipstick. And guys, this product that I've been using has been the holy grail. Like, oh my gosh, I'm not kidding. This little baby right here, this Ilia, I think that's how you pronounce it. Ilia lipstick, oh my gosh guys, it is amazing. And I love this color. This is the color Forever. I have it in a few other colors just because I became obsessed. But this is my ultimate go-to. I wear it almost every day. And because my lips have been so dry during pregnancy, this stuff is like insanely amazing. It's super hydrating and it has longevity where it stays, it'll stay on my lips almost the whole day if I wanted to. And it doesn't get like cakey or crackly or anything. It'll just like slowly deteriorate onto your lips, almost like a tint. I'm obsessed with this stuff, guys. So I wear this literally almost every day. And it goes on so easily. And there we go. This stuff is literally like butter. So yeah, this is basically what I do every day. It takes me like five minutes to do if I'm putting on makeup for the day. If I'm gonna go somewhere at night, obviously I'll put in a little more effort and do some highlighting, contouring, maybe some eyeshadow and whatever else. But this is honestly it. But I just wanted to take the time to go over a few other pregnancy safe makeup products that I have tried and just tell you my thoughts on them. The first one is this Jane Iredale Glow Time Full Coverage Mineral BB Cream. It has SPF 25 and it, you know, it's just a BB cream, something that you can wear during the day. 
To be quite frank, I've kind of had a love-hate relationship with this product. In the beginning, I started using it in my first trimester and I hated it. I was like, why did I spend the money on this? It's not the cheapest product. And I was like, why did I spend money on this? This is just horrible. But the problem was I was having really, really dry, flaky skin. And this does not sit well on dry skin. It's like really tough to move around the skin. Um, so what I started doing though is really lathering my skin up with lotion before using this and then I started liking it because for a BB cream it actually provides you with really great coverage which I did and do enjoy so maybe if I'm going to the gym or to the beach or I'm going to be spending time outside I will use this instead of my foundation so that's why I said love hate <laughs> it doesn't necessarily go on your skin well if you have dry skin but it is a good product. And then another thing I did try is this Bare Minerals Original um, Powder. And I think a lot of people like this, but honestly, I didn't really like it at all. And that's why I said, I don't think I'm a loose powder type of girl. It just doesn't sit on my face as well as pressed powder does. I don't feel like I have as much control. I feel like I get blotchy patches on my skin, but if you do love it, it is a good powder. It's natural and pregnancy safe if you are looking for a loose powder. You are a loose powder type of girl. Another makeup product that I did try and also kind of a love-hate relationship is this Lawless Natural Lip Gloss. And this is color Cameron. Oh wow, it kind of matches my top. And also kind of a love-hate relationship. Again, when my skin, when my lips were super crackly and dry, it did not sit well on it. It's really thin, it's not creamy. It is matte and it does stay on really well, but it's kind of like watery so and dries up really fast, meaning if you do have dry and non-perfect like lips, it's just gonna look crackly and gross. So that's why I can only wear this when I feel like my lips are feeling really plump and moistureful, <laughs> moistureful, moisturized. So yeah, but this is a good product and does have a lot of good reviews. So I definitely wanted to try it out. But again, love-hate relationship. Another lip product that I really liked is this Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer. And I got it in two colors, plum and cherry. These kind of go on like the Ilia lip Lipstick does. They're really smooth, really creamy, really hydrating. I like the mintiness that they have on them, but the color doesn't last as long, so I don't wear them every day, but you know, they're still a great alternative and I will have it in my bag as a backup if I wanna change up my lip color. So yeah, guys, that is my everyday pregnancy safe makeup routine. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope this helps somebody out because I know when I got pregnant, I started freaking out and I was scavenging the internet for answers on what makeup I can use and what is safe. And I couldn't even find a lot of YouTube videos, honestly that were helpful enough and literally telling me like what's safe because being a first time pregnant girl, woman, lady, person, I don't know. <laughs> it's honestly really scary and you start reading about all these things that can happen. You don't know what's going on inside of you so you don't want to put a bunch of toxins on your on your skin or in your body. So I was doing a lot of research and these are the products that I have kind of stuck to and this has been my routine during my pregnancy and therefore i really hope this helps somebody if you are looking for a good routine or good products to spend your money on i think a lot of these i will actually carry on into my non-pregnancy life just because i truly do like them quite a bit thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to subscribe for more pregnancy updates and i will see you guys very soon give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it bye